Well, I'm Jonathan Womack and welcome to this edition of Community Insider. Stay tuned as we bring you to the Country Bark Boarding right here in Viola Valley, Tennessee. And stay tuned, we've got that. And plus you're getting to meet the owners about what they do and how they care for animals right here at Country Bark Boarding here in Viola. Stay tuned, that and much more is right here on Community Insider. Can't beat some good gun smoke. That's uh, right. What, what's the meaning behind the, the TV for that? <laughs> the TV, I mean, I leave my TV on at home, in, in the house for my dogs. It just, you know, the noise and the, the feeling that they're, you know, that's what they're used to at home. They're used to seeing the TV and they're used to the noise and, you know, they just seem to like it. And at night, I cut it on relaxing music and, and they just all conk out. We have cameras in here that we can watch them and at night before I, of course I go to, before I go to bed I'll look at you know make sure everything's okay and they're just all sound asleep listening to that music and I leave a lamp on for them so you know it's just like they're at home and then I come in here about 6 30 7 o'clock every morning and start letting them out and we use the bathroom we play a little while then we eat breakfast and you know that's kind of our daily routine they just seem to enjoy the the music and, and everything from the TV tell me about the wall behind here this is just, this is really um, a little, our little storage room, it's kind of messy. <laughs> but um, this is where we keep the food and uh, everything. We're eventually, hopefully, gonna do baths where we can, you know, before they go home. I'm, I don't do grooming, I, you know, I don't do anything like that, but I would like to be able to offer baths one day. Some tough steps to climb, but it's gonna be worth it. The creek is to our right. Okay. I hope you don't mind getting your shoes wet. It's gonna get a little bit wet going up the steps, but boy, is it gonna be worth it. No words. You can't describe it. Just look at it. Welcome to another edition of Community Insider. Join us as we travel Middle Tennessee, uncovering history and experiencing the adventure of unique stories and events coming to you inside your community. And welcome back to the show, guys. I hope you'll stay tuned. We have with us Charlotte Hutchins, who is uh, uh, the owner of Country Bark Boarding right here in Viola, Tennessee. And uh, Danny and your husband does this business. He and does. You, you've yeah. been doing this for how long now? We started this in June 2017. Okay. And so almost 18 months. And it was just something that I wanted to do. And he took on the project. And here we are, 18 months later. Um, we love animals, love dogs. There's nothing like a dog. And when they board with us, we treat them like they're our own. So we're small kennel. Um, we take them out several times a day, have TV for them. Literally a TV. Yeah. You guys ain't seen inside yeah. yet, but you'll see it. Um, we have heat and air, and everybody's pretty comfortable just like they were at home. Well, one of our things with Community Insider, we try to feature during the wintertime uh, unique things about animals, either cats or dogs, so you can be reminded just how you need to care for your animals, especially during some chillier times or when, when weather isn't so friendly towards animals. And, and this place is a, is a good reminder how you can bring, your, your family can bring their animal. If you was to be gone for a week or two days or one day, 
this is a place that you can bring them if you're if you're worried that they won't be cared for. And you've got new customers coming, I guess, every day, from, right? From all over. We have them from Murfreesboro, Cookville, Sparta, Dunlap, Manchester, Tullahoma. We, when we, the first week we opened last year, we had um, a customer found us on the internet, and he came from he was coming to Bonnaroo, and he brought his dog all the way from Colorado. Wow. To board with us, and we have some already booked for Fourth of July next summer that are coming from Mississippi. Wow. You know, we're not too far from Interstate 24. Mm. We're kind of in between McMinnville and Manchester. And, you know, the, when we first started, we were worried about the drive. You know, are people going to drive out here? Because we're kind of, you know, kind of far out, but you get used to the drive. But once people get out here, they love it. It's so pretty. The dogs love it. I have a path that I walk them on, you know, in the field. and Gorgeous view, yeah. you guys. I, and, I'm going to uh, give you just a glimpse of that. Uh, you, some of y'all saw sort of the, um, the the view of the home from the road that we, we shot a little bit earlier, but actually the view of the mountains here, you're, you're nestled right here at the edge of the Grundy County Line and Warren County Line, southern are. side, right? We are. We are actually have 43 acres, and we are right on the, the Grundy County Line, and we are 15 minutes from the Manchester Walmart and 15 minutes from the Walmart. Wow. So we're right, right in the middle. Right here in mm -hmm. a good location. So, so. Uh, let me ask you this. Charlotte, y'all got started by doing this with the idea of what? Where, where did it all come from? Well, I had been with the school system for about 24, tw almost 25 years, and it was time to do something else. You know, you get to that point where, you know, I want to do something else. I love being at home. I love animals. And I just, you know, decided one day I just asked Danny, I said, we have four dogs of our own that, you know, are our babies. Our kids are grown and gone and have families of their own. And, and we just, I just asked him, I said, do you think we can start a dog boarding kennel? Out of, this is our old barn, horse barn. Okay. It was, you know, just nothing. It had dirt floor. And he, he said, well, I guess we can. <laughs> <laughs> and so he took on the project. And it took us about six months to build it. And um, we have nine kennels. And we just, I love it. I mean, it's so much fun going in every morning to the dogs. They're so happy to see you. And they're so, you know, it's like these dogs, they have a home and they're loved. And that's how I want them to feel when they're here, like they are at home, you know. And I don't want the, the owners to worry about them, you know, while, while they're here. And so that's, that's pretty much, you know, I just wanted, I know how I want my dogs treated. And that's how I want to treat everybody else's dogs. Well, so. we're, we're going to go inside where you can actually uh, get in out of this little cooler weather. Yeah. And, and by the way, you guys come with us. You're going to get to see inside and also some ideas about uh, the next time that you have to leave home and you have a, a dog that, you know, you may not can care for it for maybe one day or a week or, uh, you know, plans coming up. We've had, we had, this past summer, we had two dogs stay with us for eight weeks. Wow. Yeah. I got really attached, but the owners were moving. They're from Murfreesboro. They were building a house. Their house wasn't ready, and they had to get out of their house, and so they needed somewhere to board, and the dogs did great. You hmm. know, I would I, I send the owners pictures of their dogs while they're here. I have Facebook, so I post pictures of the dogs playing, and people seem to like that. They That's they, they want to know how their dogs are doing yeah. while they're here, and I don't, you know, I don't blame them. I would, too. Uh -huh. <laughs> so... This is Lily. Can you say hi, Lily? 
Okay, she's just a little pup. So Charlotte, this is an example of, of their hotel room. Right, right, yeah, this is where they stay. They have their own little bed and their own blanket. And uh, we, they have a doggy door. When it's sunny and warm, I'll leave those open so they can go in and out. And the um, pens are divided. Divided. They they're not, yeah, place. they have no, they're not, they're not, yeah, they have their own place. And so they, uh, <laughs> she's going but um, we have all sizes. We've had Great Danes to little Chihuahuas. And so they, uh, they all seem to, to uh, do well. They just kind of nap and have a good time. Say, so, so be, yeah, say we're good. Say we're a good girl. So we have, a lot of times we have, um, like different family members, you know, you have two or three from the same family, they'll stay in the same kennel together, or we can separate either one. And, uh, but we have all sizes and all breeds, and they all have a different personality. Can't beat some good gun smoke. That's uh, right. What, what's the meaning behind the, the TV for the animals? <laughs> the TV, I mean, I leave my TV on at home, in, in the house for my dogs. It just, you know, the noise and the, the, feeling that they're, you know, that's what they're used to at home. They're used to seeing the TV and they're used to the noise and, you know, they just seem to like it. And at night, I cut it on relaxing music and and they just all conk out. We have cameras in here that we can watch them. And at night, before, I, of course, I go to, before I go to bed, I'll look at, you know, make sure everything's okay. And they're just all sound asleep listening to that music. And I leave a lamp on for them. So, you know, it's just like they're at home. And then I come in here about 6.30, 7 o'clock every morning and start letting them out. And we use the bathroom, we play a little while, and then we eat breakfast. And, you know, that's kind of our daily routine. They just seem to enjoy the, the music and, and everything from the TV. Tell me about the wall behind here. This is, just, this is really um, a little, our little storage room. It's kind of messy. <laughs> but um, this is where we keep the food and uh, everything. We're eventually, hopefully, going to do baths where we can, you know, before they go home. I'm, I don't do grooming, I, you know, I don't do anything like that, but I would like to be able to offer baths one day whenever we can get, get this done. And so, but right now it's just kind of our storage room for food and stuff. And so, but uh, yeah, but my husband did all this and, and uh, um, our sons helped, you know, concrete work and, and, and doing the, the woodwork and all that stuff. You but kept Danny pretty busy, I, I guess. Yes, I have. I have. So, but he seems to enjoy it. So. So is this the number of dogs? That this you've had? is the, this is all the dogs that we've had. We've had 570 guests since we opened. Of course, that's a you know we have a lot of repeat customers, so that's not 570 right. dogs. But this is um, this is you know, the ones that we've kept, I try to, I've gotten a picture of every one of them and, and uh, since we opened and, and uh, we've, uh, we have a lot of repeat now, but we're getting a lot of newer ones also, so we, uh, it's, it's fun to get, I mean, they're all so different, all so different. Tell us about the uh, boarding report card that you have. Well, the report card is something that um, I do when we, um, when the dog gets picked up and they get ready to go home. And um, it's just kind of something I just thought would be a cute idea for the owners to have to kind of tell how their dog did. And, um, you know, which most of the time, all of them, it's, it's a behavior, you know, but some of them eat when they come and some of them don't. So I kind of like to let the owners know how they do while they're here. So it's something that they seem to like. But, um, so yeah. So. And, you know, something unique like this, but really, what is the folks getting this bringing it out here? What are they getting the most out of when they bring it to the country board? They get that they know that they're well taken care of, that I will love them like their own. Um, you know that I send them pictures periodically while they're on vacation, letting them know how their you know their dogs doing, and you know the, the dogs never really seem stressed while they're here. You know, that's, and I've had a couple of people say, "I think my dog was was sad when I brought it home." You know, because 
they do have fun. We try mm -hmm. to make it fun for them and not just cooped up all day and, and sitting there doing nothing. I try to make it fun. I'm here all day. And so I'm, I'm in and out. And my, Danny always says, I think you do too much with them, you know. And I was like, well, I mean, I wouldn't want to be sitting in there all day, you know, doing nothing. So we walk, and I have a trail that I walk on where we play outside. And, and uh, so we have fun. So I think, I think people, I just want the owners to be able to have a good vacation and not worry about their dog while they're here. That's, that's my main, my main goal. And, um... I think I think they're doing pretty much that. You know, I've had a lot of good reviews, and and uh, people seem to be coming back. So uh, this is our play area um, that the dogs come out and they they play and they run and and uh, have a good time out here. Uh, we um, I try to let them out periodically, three or four you know times a day, to let them get their exercise, and then also have a trail that. Um, I walk them on around the around the field um, out here. Of course, it's winter time right now, and it's not very very pretty. And and uh, but usually it's you have gorgeous views out here for, for to for them to walk and get their exercise. Um, if you're wanting to board with us, um, we have a website. It's www.countrybarkboarding.com. We're located in Viola, Tennessee. Um, off of Chestnut Grove Road. You're welcome to give us a call and stop by and, and visit. We have a lot of people that want to come see first where their dog's staying, and I don't blame them, I would too. And, and then, you know, see if, if you think you, this is a place you want your dog to stay. Um, we'd love to be able to keep them. You can um, call me at 931-607-3118. We also have a Facebook page that I post pictures and updates and information on daily. Uh, just you can message me if you have any questions um, just but feel free to come by and, and check us out we'd love to be able to keep keep your dog anytime <laughs>